water. Welcome back to the Witcher 3. And let's get the new this day. Mm. The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war ravaged land. Yeah. To gather intelligence about Siri. Yay. Yet Geralt arrived too late. Yay. Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the spies had failed to find his notes. Yay. And knew that Ciri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord, and that she'd quarreled with a witch. So right here, where I left off, I was stuck right here. So I think I know where to go right now. It's somewhere at the top. Yes, this one. Infasimer, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> Ooh. One, two, three, one, two, three. Hey! <laughs> Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. I'm not a thug for hire. I know who you are. But since you come here having perpetrated that bloodbath, I assume you've something important to discuss. I do. Very well. Then let's discuss it. One thing. You do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Make yourself at home. It would have put the bloody vodka. Ah, there it is. A snifter. No thanks. Didn't come here to drink. <laughs> As you will. But I'll not sit here and dry if you don't mind. Before the war, there was a distillery nearby. Best in Velen, but the horse on was burnt it to the ground. To the matter at hand, 
I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I said already. I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? I don't. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. Some their wives, others their daughters. What's that supposed to mean? That a threat? Boy, not as clever as I suspected you'd be. No, it's no threat. I'll spell it out for you. I know who you're looking for. She showed up some time ago. Exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. So we contour the sea arena. I mean, contour the sea arena. Mm. Also, just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find a way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. How did you wind up here? My father brought me. Told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail. Then I saw a butterfly. And I ran to catch it. And I lost my way. You and your father. When did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come. I'll walk you home, and explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home, because of the Wolf King and his pack. No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes, I mean, no. From behind a tree, he was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was Terribly, disgustably horrific. 
See what I've got on my back. Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Come out now. My lord brave. My father can even do that. Mine could do a lot more. Come. Look! There's something there. Wait here. Don't come any closer. But no buts, stay here. I must see something. Still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Ah, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. Oh, his liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tight? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He had a fall. Mm, I bet. The Wolf King got him. When do children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's vein, bull's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Children out to follow the sweets. Sometimes they send their children. Some 
sometimes they give and sell. Do they return? No. Why would they? They're plenty to eat with half of things. This way. Through the cave. You lead. It's a bit dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not evil. Oh, it's gonna be crazy, but <laughs> yeah, yay. Bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. I, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. I thought they're gonna be a hot fight. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not me daughter. And the little one? Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I. Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. So I ordered my men to watch her, and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Take it you won't give me this information for free. <laughs> Sharp you are. I regret your loss. Commiserate. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. <sighs> what if I refuse, because I just don't want to? Would you tell me to sod off? Go ahead, but then I'll tell you the same. And what'll that make us? Two helpless, empty-handed sods. Think of it as searching for your own daughter. Ought to go quickly, then. 
When did you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. When she was a babe, my daughter loved animals. Saw a deer trophy on a wall once. Do you know what she asked? Haven't got a clue. Papa, is that deer's wump on the other side of the wall? <laughs> you see it there? Oh, what's a trophy? <laughs> I pity any bastard who's hurt her. I'll flay him alive. Here it is. Damn it! Jammed again. Your bedchamber. Tamara's room is there. I try not to make a mess, but in return, I want everything to be as they left it. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Wooden candlestick. Stems broken. Walls a different color. Something used to hang here. Hmm. That painting? Right size. The Baron and his wife. <laughs> Look happy enough. What's this? Ah, gotta wonder who wanted to hide the hole. And what's on the other side. Hmm, it gets interesting. Piece of wood looks like the stem of that candlestick. No coincidence there. Hmm. Fight might have happened here. I'll look for clues. Fresh flowers. He expects them to return any minute. Takes hope. to the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Avalus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Sense. And an old key. Wonder what it unlocks. Anise. Saffron.
damn ugly for a doll. The kind you'd stick with pins to hurt someone. of the candlestick and wine stains. Somebody smashed a bottle from Toussaint. Yeah, Erevelus. Scent hasn't died. Wonder where it'll lead me. Damn, trail breaks off. Could find something else though. Spruce wood. Smells of juniper incense. Some sort of folk talisman, protective. Question is, against what? Won't find much else here. <coughs> Done poking around? Recognize this amulet? Hmm. Yes. Anna began wearing it a time ago. Any idea where she got it? None. Any witches or cunning women in the area? A Pella. Old Coop lives near Blackbow. And there's a cunning woman in Midcops, but I know little about her. She's only recently arrived. If Anna were to see someone, she'd choose the Pella, not the woman. Anna was wary of strangers, newcomers. Whole landing smells of wine. Tell me anything about that? One of the lads, must be. Lush is one and all. Give your men air Oh, damn it. I might have spilled it. I told you I was good and marinated that night. What does it matter? Stench of wine in plenty of corn around the castle. Found signs of a fight in the room. Know anything about that? A fight? What are you talking about? Someone was attacked. Probably your wife or daughter. Whoever it was tried to defend themselves with a candlestick. Missed the attacker. Punctured the wall instead. They tussled too. I... I don't know nothing about this. That night, I was drunk. Don't remember a thing. They were gone by the time I awoke. Doubt you were the only ones in the castle. Maybe one of your men heard something? Three times I asked those Bastards, if they'd seen anything, heard anything, nothing, not a one of them. Found a doll in Tamara's room. Tell me about it. <laughs> what could possibly be so interesting about a doll, Witcher? Looks like it might have been used for some sort of black magic. Where'd Tamara get it? Black magic? Are you balmy? I made it for her. She was four, perhaps five winters old. We were in Vizima on market day, and she saw the sorceress, Triss Merigold. Insisted she must have a doll just like her. Couldn't afford a thing of that sort, so I made the doll with my own hands. So it is supposed to be Triss. Yeah, I see it now. Eerie. Looks just like her. Doesn't it? Time's taken a bit of a towel, but overall, it continues to impress. You got something to fall back on if things don't work out with Nilfgaard. Ought to have a chat with this Peller. Fair warning, he's a hard man to talk to. Rumor has it, he killed his own father with an axe as a lad, then went batty. Now they say he sees ghosts and plows his goat. Not really interested in his hobbies. Just want to ask about the amulet.
Faster. Slow now. Whoa. Slow now. What do you want? Want to talk to the Peller? Too late. We've got dibs on a chat with him. A long one. Get the hell out. Now. <laughs> and here I thought we'd have a day without corpses. Herb Majors paid top coin for the special bits of rare creatures. Wonder how much we'll get for his eyes. Safe now. Devils, who do they bring? What seek ye? I need your help. Whoa, a man, nay, a wolf, grey, but not old. Tis he the peller awaits. Wood, strong smell of juniper, designed to protect someone. Freshly cut spruce, sprinkled with goat's blood, then tempered with an incense of earth, smoke, and juniper. For Anna, to protect her. So, designed to protect her, from what? Oh, the dear. Besieged she was, evil all around, wanting to possess her. Old magic, born of oblivion, from dark sources emerged. Old magic? Can you be more specific? It is not from mouth speech, nor for the touch. A small protective charm, not a thing more a Pella could do. Anna and her daughter are missing. 
know where they are. Nay, no, nay. Pella don't know. But the spirits could know. The Pella will augur the spirits ask. Spirits? Great. Fine with me. As long as I know where to look, where to find them. Lost. Lost. Must be found. Princess! None better than princess for finding things. Princess? Which princess? Princess! My goat! She's fled! Those men must have scared her off. Can we get back to the auguring? Without the goat? Impossible. No goat? <laughs> Won't work. Will you help me if I bring the goat back? Princess! Princess! Where have you got to, girl? Fine. I'll get your goat. The bell! The little bell's ringing! She loves it! Ring, ring, and she will follow. Look for a while. But beware of wild strawberries. Raspberries, too. Yeah, treacherous as beasts go. I always keep an eye out for them. So, I think I'm gonna end here, so thank you for watching, guys.